Hello and welcome to a new upgrade, vibrational upgrade and my kind of lenses of awakening as it is happening right now. So this week is truly interesting. We've just had the new moon and we're having another week ahead of us that is more than interesting. So November 3rd until November 9th is this vibrational upgrade. And yes, as I said, it really gets more exciting. I feel the most important energy that is important for us to upgrade our vibration to is a kind of a dance of the opposites. And that comes a lot from Mars and Pluto. And both of them, in a way, they are actually evolving, if you want to call it that way. So Mars, the action, but also not anymore from a place of self-interest and power over, but from a place of compassion and the power of the heart. And I feel we are really called into a dance of opposition that allows us to come into the center. And the center is obviously the heart. So I feel in the past, oppositions and polarity was often about making a choice trying to judge and see what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad. But now the energies have changed to an extent that it is no longer that. So if ever we question non-duality and how to live it, now is actually the time to truly live it and own it. So it has a lot to do also with responsibility. And in this dance of oppositions of the action, then in a way comes from the heart, the power of the heart, as well as compassion, we are still deconstructing and breaking outdated systems. But it doesn't mean that all systems are bad. Again, it's not a duality concept. It's not a matter of judgment. It is a matter of how can we deconstruct. And deconstruct is a kind of a breaking, but it's not necessarily eliminating everything. So the dance is not taking us into judgment, what is right and wrong, but it is taking us into actually the six and the higher dimensions. So in the sixth dimension, we kind of leave the duality. In the fifth dimension, we learn how to love, unconditional love. There's still higher forms of love in higher dimensions and consciousness. And we learn to be creative. In the sixth dimension, we're coming into that power of the heart. And so this revolutionary, evolutionary turmoil that is happening is for us to step out of that duality, out of this right and wrong. When we come to the center and the, in the heart, it is naturally in love and in harmony. So it's also more now than the highest good that we have been using for a very long time. And that is very much again related to the fifth dimension and consciousness, which doesn't mean it's right or wrong or good and bad. It's our evolutionary experiences and awakening experiences. So we are called into our light. So when we get into the sixth dimension, we have the access to the light of the seventh dimension. And of course, that's a totally different vibration. And this is where we actually can truly understand because it's now beyond the mind and we're in the power of the heart those light codes that we have been given you find possibly that in meditation when you are in a higher state of being i use the word higher for now let's see how it unfolds we can feel those light codes but when we are living in 5d and we're trying to rationalize it and analyze it, it is almost impossible. So between five and 60 consciousness and dimensions, we are truly coming in the power of the heart, which means we are no longer controlled by the mind. And the mind kind of gets an upgrade 
and we can do a lot of this this week so it's really exciting the mind gets a kind of upgrade where it allows gives consent to this higher energy to this higher vibration to this higher frequency to this power of the heart the power of the heart obviously is not about control the power of the heart is about the center so when we have this dance of oppositions and we come into the heart this is what it is it's not overpowering it is finding a way a new relationship in these old perceived opposites binary oppositions of the mind that no longer exist in the heart as they don't have self-interest as they don't have ego as they don't have fear suffering and all the old paradigms of homo sapiens that we are obviously shedding so yes i really love this energy for this week as we are settling into the 6d and as we are finding relationships in oppositions instead of the right and wrong and the judgment and that is also taking us out of self-sabotage and sabotage in general because there is nothing more to sabotage neither self nor others so we are being challenged i don't i can't say another word it is truly a challenge this week and of course it it will um, get stronger and accelerates as we're entering into the full moon that will be in taurus remember i'm not an astrology i'm just dancing with the energies and the energies of the planets is not the only thing and i come back to this in just a second we are also finding a new truth in this dance of oppositions the truth that no longer is right or wrong the truth that no longer is based in self-interest or self-sabotage and so this is a metamorphosis i would say we are really morphing into something completely new that we call of course homo luminous and so this operating system heart that I was able to activate for about a year or so is getting another another dimension and I'm inviting you to look at that where are you on your awakening journey how do you live with your awakening journey the time of self-growth self-development is now over because it's no longer about that old self that is focused on the physical the awakening also has a big self aspect but an aspect of self that lives in a physical without the limitations and the fear and the judgment of the old so it's still about self but finally we're finding this whole self soul self heart self source self whatever name you want to give yourself all together all encompassed in the power of the heart so i i hope you are ready for that because it is a quantum jump it's an evolutionary leap it's not just the energy of this upcoming week it's a little bit more than that but this week i can really feel how it all gets started so take the courage of action take the courage to relate in a different way look at your awakening process if you want to call it spiritual awakening or whatever it's not about the word the awakening is really the most important evolutionary leap that we can step on at the moment and we are all waking up it's just a question of how open we are and how courageous we are to step on this journey of truth 
So I'm inviting you today in the light language into a very different space. The ancient Peruvians, Inca and before that, as well as the Aboriginals. I have this information from Heather Ensworth, but when she said it, it just resonated. So I feel happy to share that with you. Actually for them in the astrology, they weren't looking at the actual star constellations. They were looking at the space in between, the dark space. And of course we know everything comes out of the dark space. And black was not always a bad color. And if we look at the night sky, even if we're not living in a place where we have the polar lights, we actually can see many different shades of black. But in this light language bridge today, I want to take you into the dark spaces in between of this cosmos and to get a sense of what is there. So for the Aboriginals and ancient Peruvians, Inca, Quiero, whatever, they saw often animals in there as they symbolize a lot for them, spirit animals and power animals. Am I inviting you into the space to find yourself that is dancing with the opposites, but into your heart? So, the Pleiadians are shouting very, very loud to me right now. But also, of course, the Council of Heartlights, which is like the Intergalactic Council of Light, bringing a lot of different planets together and consciousness. And the Acturians are here because they say this has also a lot to do with us in the sense of it's an art of a new technology. So, yeah, this will be an interesting light language bridge into this darkness in between the constellations and the vibration of you shifting, transforming this relationship of opposites, judgments, right and wrong, into a dance into the center and into the heart. So let me bring it through and you let me know in the comments how that goes. Focale, 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 my you. Foca talameo. Shalkare ma, shakare ma, ne. Tala, tala. Talamena korayo Kaliyama no nanera konare kaiya Unare Chola la 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 le Nara nara mena hola mena tora tara me nala rea nala rea mala hona atiu ati hi 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 Ona Rema
So just enjoy that. Let it settle for a moment. You may go and rewind and enjoy it again. And yes, let me know how you're going. This is a big vibrational shift and a very interesting dance. We, we have not danced before. So enjoy it and let me know how you go. And pay more attention to your awakening journey. We have just launched and we're talking already to potential participants and students of this amazing program to unlock and unre unleash that new self and new earth. So if you're interested, there's comment, there's of course a link in the, in the, in the description and you can check us out online or send us a message. So much love from your heart. No, from my heart to yours. Your heart is very present with me. When we, when we are in, s in the Sen Nith state that I am right now, and I pr refer to your heart, it actually means that your heart is present. And that is one of the principal recipes of awakening which is unifying so your heart and my heart are actually now together so i'm very excited where we are going so much love